yeah, very beautiful building out here, guys, that you see. Yeah. Yeah, guys, you can see the change of this town, Tabora. It's really beautiful, man. Let me just walk around this place and try to show you what it is around here. And the matter of fact, you know, it all knows. Yeah. It is sun over there, but I think you can see. these plants guys the environment guys as you see the beauty of Tabora one thing I love the most is greenish of this town There's some nice pens out here. I'll come back to check it out if I can get one that's gonna fit me. Yeah, I'll check it out. Yeah, so guys, this is what I can show you. This is the real street of Tabora. Tabora, as what I said, it is well known that um, these were the center of slavery. So slave from uh, different parts of Africa, as well, I mentioned some of the African countries that slaves were collected from and brought here at the center. And then later they were transferred to uh, Bagamoyo. And then from Bagamoyo they were sent to the main market which was uh, Zanzibar, you know. There are some shops around here, you know, some nice places are sold around here. But I totally know, man, I really love this hood. This hood is really good, it's calm. Yeah, I like, I like this kind of the vibe, man. Like, I really like this kind of the vibe. No. It is chilly. Guys, if you really want to come to Tanzania and you want to come to one of the chilly towns, I think Tabora is going to do you better because uh, as what I've been walking around here, I see Tabora is a chilly place. You know what I'm saying? Like, uh, it's really chilly, man. You can see the streets the residence and the town itself it is so calm the streets are chill you know so at, what i can say I, according to my view tabor is one of the chilly places. like if you didn't want to come and chill this is the chilly place that you can come and have your moment out here so i love this hood man you can see these uh, mango trees around here guys these are the mango trees as you see at the harvest time anybody can just grab it and keep on doing whatever they gotta do with it so they are not owned 
by individual. You know, this is the public mangoes. Seriously, this place is uh, is really good, man. I don't know, man. Like, um, what I can just say, and according to the experience that I have of uh, Tanzania, like when you visit Tabora, you can see the view is different from other towns. But as well as uh, the weather, the weather is really cool. You know. But uh, what I can just say is the chilly vibe. But it's a chilly vibe. Like wherever you walk, you can see like the vibe is so chill, and you know it's really nice, man. Honestly, for those people who don't like chaos, like moving in a place where there's so, so, so many cars, you see some beautiful shops over there. So for those people who don't like chaos, like they want to, to they want to be or live in a place where it's so quiet, I think Tabora. It's gonna be the best place for you. Because man, this town is chill, man. Yeah, so this is how this street looks like. There's some second-hand stuff around here. Guys, I think you can see. Anyway, you might be saying that, dude, you are giving so much promo of this town, but this is what I feel. But as a matter of fact, you are seeing it. You're gonna have your own comment on this. Because uh, I don't wanna tell you that uh, what? But you can see, it. all these are mango trees, guys. You know? They're too old. I think they, they have been here for years. You see? Man, what the, I would really like to tell the people of Tabora, please, man, don't try to cut these trees. You see? And uh, what I can say, man, generally, of uh, those streets that have uh, visited already, this press is clean. Well, let me just keep walking and then keep uh, uh, see what is good and bad because uh, uh, every press has got a good side and a bad side. So you cannot just get a good side of, of the street, but I think you can get a bad side of as well. Trees are planted, you know. I think these are new. You can see these trees are new, but this one are the old one. Yeah, you see over there, guys, a lot of good places you can't really imagine. Yeah. The good thing that I'm not just saying, I'm saying and showing you, so like you're going to have your own comment on this. If you love the hood, you're going to say you love the hood. You don't love the hood, like you don't love the environment. You're seeing it and then uh, you're going to have your own feeling. But as for me, I feel good seeing this kind of environment, man, like a very chill environment and stuff like that. This tree, that is what making me feel like, yeah, this hood is really cool, eh? you know? Yeah. So maybe this is the reason why they are calling this Toronto, because I remember somebody, as what I said, that RSC, that uh, former Legion Commission, uh, who went to smuggle fully. He had a big vibe of making sure that he changed this town to become more greenish, I think. He made it. That's why you can see trees and stuff like this are grown and are like this. So I think his, uh, his dream came true because he made it happen. House as well arranged, you know, for real. As for me, like I'm saying it, man, from, you know, deep down of my heart, like this place is very beautiful. I'm just walking, though that I don't even know where I'm going, but uh, I'm keeping on walking. I think I've been here, if I'm not mistaken. I've been here. I don't know if it is, yeah, I think it is this place. I was somewhere over there. Yeah. Yeah, as you can see there, so it's sun over there, but you cannot see it clear. But see, let me just keep walking this place. I think you can see it much more better. Yeah. Guys, I don't know where I'm going. So what I do is just walk in and try to explore what it is around this town of Tabora and sharing with you brothers and sisters all around the world so that you got an experience 
over Africa, you know? So for those who always say that Africa is the dumping hole, I think what I can just comment, like Africa is the paradise, guys. You can see how beautiful it is. You can see people living so quietly. People are chilling. They got no inner and worry of their today and tomorrow. You cannot be so negative about Africa. As a matter of fact, like everything's seen quite better. You know what I mean, guys? Yeah. And I'm tempted to keep going because I, I can see the beauty of the street. So like, I don't feel like stopping. I feel like keep on going. Though that I don't even know where exactly I'm going. Yeah, I think I'm gonna have to, gonna have to come this side because I don't know if I'm gonna be allowed to film at the police station. I think that is the police station because uh, they, they can take actions over me. Like, why are you filming around here? Let me go this side. Whatever. Yeah, this is a police station. I didn't want to go that side because, uh, you know, in Tanzania, some places that are restricted. You cannot feel him everywhere. You're gonna have to feel him uh, in public places. It's not allowed to feel him. That's why I don't want to go filming in the public places. You know, I don't want to be in trouble anymore, especially police buildings. It might not bring a good picture when I do that. See? So guys, as you can see, man, this is Tabora, Tanzania, East Africa. You see? So I'm just keeping on hitting the road, trying to show you different parts of this town. Yeah. Lamadan baby shop are here. It's really beautiful, man. Yeah. Let me just keep showing you. Where is the bug? It's the bug hut, but it is crossed. I don't know what it is. Yeah, bug hut, but crossed. Damn, man. Tabora is really, really beautiful. I love Tabora. Tabora is the best place to be. Siri. You really want a cheery place? This place is real cheery, man. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, guys, so let us keep hitting the road. And as I'm keeping showing you around these places of Tabora. So, guys, I think I've tried to show you many parts of Tabora. I hope a little bit you have an idea like how this town looks like, because like I'm not gonna be able to cover places. The few places that I have visited, you're gonna have the idea of how this town look. And uh, this is my main purpose of walking around these places, trying to give you an idea of how African cities and town look like. As what I promise you, man, like I'm gonna be walking around, around Africa and the world, trying to show you these things. But as a matter of fact, I just started with Tanzania. And uh, today I'm in Tabora, trying to show you like what it is around this place. And this has been my mission. If you feel like uh, you are touched to support this guy, Jordan, come on, man, you can do that. I'm not saying you must do that. But if your heart tells you to uh, donate 
doing or whatever you can do so that I can be able to travel in many more places. You can do that. If you want to contribute, if you want to do anything to help, you can just check with me through my Instagram account. That is, that is Jordan.Mwamlima. That is my Instagram account, Jordan.Mwamlima. You can get me there and we can chat and you can tell me how you want to help me. Anything that you'll be blessed, you can do that, you know. I think I'm gonna have to end my video here. Guys, thank you so much for watching my channel. I'm so grateful. But honestly, I want to thank my new viewers and uh, my returning viewers for always coming to my channel. Please, please don't forget to subscribe if you're not yet subscribed.